Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this has come to me from a new to me company. They're called Outdoor Tide. Um, yeah, they uh, contacted me and said, would I like some products to show on my channel? So, yes, of course. Always happy to try new companies and see what's uh, out there. So yeah, I've got some products to show you. There are some special offers on at the moment on the website if you go and check them out. Uh, if you spend over over $59 uh, you get free shipping and two free gifts so yeah it's always worth looking at the special offers when you go onto the website and see obviously they're current as I'm making this video so double check if you're watching a couple of months after I've made the video okay so shall we see what we got right so let's have a look in this bag we have oh a diamond painting looks like we have specials and oh another diamond painting and oh another diamond painting so three diamond paintings from them yay okay huge thank you uh, outdoor tide for sending me these it's uh, very good of you so i do like to try out new companies we have a full drill let's have a look at the full drill one and see what this one is okay let's see where i can get into it what these packages are like. They like to fool me and open at different ends. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry about the squeak. The packaging's grabbing onto the painting. It's saying, no, I don't want to come out the packet. Don't let me out. <laughs> okay, so this is a smaller painting and it is a 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres. So a nice little square picture with a round like plate in the middle. Okay, let's give it a bit of a flam. It's got a little bit creased, but it's come a long way. So let's just give it a flatten out so we can see it better. And these creases will flatten out if you put them under something heavy. So they've just got a little bit squished. Coming through the post, as I said, they've come a long way and they've been wrapped around the drills. So they're just sort of packaging creases, really. Uh, to be honest, once you've actually done... Um, once you've actually done a full drill picture, the creases disappear anyway, so yeah. Okay, so look at this. It's beautiful. It's like a plate effect uh, around in the middle there. And we've got these poinsettia flowers. So we've got one coming up the middle and then two at the sides. And we've got like this frame going around the edge. Now, I don't know whether it's like lace or something that they've added on. Um, because it's like hanging over it's a little bit over the edge isn't it it's like something's been wrapped around the frame as they've been taking the photograph so yeah very very pretty i like this one it's got your full white background so uh, and good if you like your multi-placing you can uh, multi-place to your heart's content in these little corners here as i say when i do anything that's got like a white or a plain background just all one color i like to get that bit out the way first and then i sit and do all the other colors uh, later on but you don't have to diamond paint that edge if you don't want to if you wanted to you could just literally cut that out and have it as a full drill diamond painting like round um, I would then mount it on some foam board and have it as like an actual plate on the wall it would look really really effective obviously it's your painting it's up to you how you do it but I do find with anything that's round I just have this tendency to want to cut it out <laughs> just me then okay uh the price of this one on the website at the moment is five dollars and sixty cents it is set uh, round drills as well so we're square with a round with round drills uh, you've got your little starter toolkit pen butt and wax enough to get your picture done so that's fine uh we have a 16 different gems on this one 16 different drills and nice capital letters there on all of the codes there and we do have dmc codes as well if you do like to save your drills and it looks a pretty clear drill field to me let's just see if we can focus in yeah you can read all that really well if uh, i'm looking at how clear drill fields is i always go to the darker colors because i think if anything's going to be not quite as clear it's going to be on the darker ones but they show up really really well so that's excellent. Love this. It's just 
so pretty that gorgeous red you can tell why they're for christmas can't you with that lovely christmas red and green i wonder if these are going to be gold or if they're going to be white could always substitute them out um, and put gold on it so i've got my red green and gold i'm a very traditional christmas girl i do like red green and gold colors <laughs> Okay, let's give the actual drill field a quick measure. So we are well, just a smidgen, well, yeah, it's about 25 centimetres. Uh, once it's fully flattened out, I think we will be the full 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches. Uh, I don't measure exactly to the millimetre. Um, if you do want 100% exact measurements, uh, I can let you know, but it's just to give you a rough idea. And again, 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. <laughs> This would look really nice in one of those magnetic frames. I know, but they're my favourites because you can swap your pictures in and out without having to take them off the wall. And I love them. Okay, it's so pretty. Just got a bit of a crease right down the middle. Once I've uh, turned my camera off, I'm going to deal with that because it's just getting on my nerves. I know it will flatten out, but it's just looking at me and going, eh. <laughs> Okay, it is poured glue anyway, so any creases, you know, it's not like having your double-sided tape canvases, it is uh, poured glue, so it'll flatten out nicely. It's just me, I get uh, a bit picky and a bit fussy, and uh, yeah, it's looking at me. <laughs> so let's have a look at our 16 colours, wow, this is a very long train. Okay, so we've got like a salmon-y pink colour and a nice burgundy colour and a deep green and a little bit of beige and a fresh green oh look at that color that is gorgeous is that two bags of that one yeah they're both the same color so that's like your orangey reddy color wow that's gonna really pop isn't it on that uh, darker background there in uh, this picture you've got your darker background so yeah then we've got a very nearly a fluorescent orange color that one We've got a darker sort of army green. Oh, it's got a, an orange one in there. Look, wanted to join the green party. And a little bit of a browny green colour. And like a grey brown. And another burgundy colour. Is that two lots of that one? Yeah, that's two of the same. Hey, I'm getting better at this. Spotting colours that are the same. Must be because it's a bit brighter today. It's sunny outside. Yay! Sun in the UK. Goodness me. Not used to it. Uh, we've got like a pale peachy colour and a Christmassy green and another sort of, that's more of a sort of rosy burgundy colour and then like, ooh, what's that? It's like a burnt orange colour and then two of your number 16 which is 3865 so the background is actually uh, like your winter white um, I like to call it winter white because uh, I'm sure I've said before but I used to have a car that was like an off-white colour um, and like in the marketing they called it winter white because it sounded better than off-white so whenever I see anything now that's not the bright white colour it is a winter white <laughs> just makes it sound a little bit posher okay so very nice colours okay they look like good drills can't see any trash at the moment but obviously you've got to do your diamond painting to see how good the drills are which we will do hopefully get it done for this christmas so we can have it on the wall because it's a definite although really it's not sort of screaming christmas is it i mean it could actually be what are they amaryllis hmm similar to an amar actually it might be an amaryllis you know what poinsettia leaves like aren't the leaves like the flowers this could be an amaryllis so you could have it up at any time of year hmm do you know, I think it is. It's one of those, you know, that you get the really, really big bulbs and then it comes up with one great big flower and it's fantastic. And then all it does after that is just come up with lots of leaves. <laughs> I've never managed to get two flowers on one, but uh, you never know. I've heard that uh, people have done in the past. So, yeah, I think this is an amaryllis, not a poinsettia now looking at it again. Let me know in the comments what do you think it is. Okay, anyway, that is our canvas number one. So I'll pop that one to one side and let's have a look at the next one. So this one's a little bit of fun and I think you can see we've got some snowflakes in the background. So let's see if this one's a bit easier to open. Oh yes, this is a soft plastic, so I spotted where it opened a lot quicker. Right, I'm going to open this one upside down quickly. Oh, I think we've probably got a sneak peek then. So this is a special drill and it's a partial 
and it is da -da -da -da, look at him he's absolutely fabulous look at that i just couldn't resist when i saw this one yay he's a dancing jolly now then i think he's a gnome because we can see his eyes if it's if you can't see their eyes they're a gonk but i think you can just about underneath his hat there see his little eyes so i'm going to say he's definitely a gnome and is he not just the funniest cutest little gnome you've ever seen he's stuck with this wreath i think he's uh, being out celebrating don't you because he's just put this huge wreath all the way around him and he's dancing down the street with the wreath on yay i love his little hat as well look he's got like a little plaid hat and it's got a tassel on the end there and uh, yeah i think once crystals on this wreath the lights are going to look like they're on <laughs> Yeah. And then we've got all the like little stars in the background or snowflakes. He's got his little boots on, look. Nice and shiny as well. He's got a little bit of shine on those boots. He's been polishing them. And his mittens to keep his hands warm. So, yeah. But that one just really made me smile. And I love like his reflection down here as well. So, I think it maybe has been snowing and we've got a little bit of slush and a little bit of water. Because he's got his reflection of all his lights in the, in the background in the foreground here where he's dancing along but yeah can you imagine walking down the street and you see this little gnome just dancing along with a wreath around his neck i've seen a few th people dancing down the street with things around the necks but i don't think i've ever seen one with a wreath not that size anyway i suppose it depends how big he is it might not be that big a wreath at all maybe he's just a little small gnome okay i wonder where he got it from Maybe it was on a lamp post and he's uh, just decided to wear it. <laughs> oh, it was on his front door and he thought, oh, I haven't got dressed up for Christmas, so I'll just put my wreath on off my Christmas door. There you are. Oh, he's lovely. Yeah, he's definitely a gnome. I can definitely see little eyes peeking out at me from underneath there. But uh, yeah, he's as partial. So that means that he's just sort of the uh, gnome in the middle and a little bit uh, of little sort of spatters in the background have got gems on. And then the rest, this isn't sticky, uh, so there's no gems to go on there. So they do a little bit quicker, uh, but they tend to be special drills. So they tend to be a lot more sparkly than just your standard gems. Okay, so we have a pen, a water and wax enough to get your kit done. Let's have a look in here. Oh, I think I've just spotted something extra special. So we have 10 different gems and colours. Oh, I would have thought there was more than 10 because we've got all these different colours, but maybe not. So you probably do quite quickly. There's not many uh, colour changes to do whilst you're doing this one. But I like the fact that he's got the uh, extra little colour going around his mittens as well. So it's like he's got a little bit of a glow. He's definitely got a glow on his nose, hasn't he? <laughs> right, let's start at this end with the crystals. So we're starting off with our little plain, uh, with your standard clear crystals there, lovely and clear. And we've got a white, oh, now then. Ooh, have they got an AB coating on them? Do you know, I think they have. So we've got a standard white gem and it has got an iridescent coating on it. I don't know whether you can maybe make it out. Let's get a little bit closer. Can you make it out a bit? It's not really glowing quite so much, but yeah, there is definitely an iridescent coating on there. So that's excellent. And we've got a very, very dark red there and a bit lighter red. So that'll give you different contrast colours on that, your little plaid hat here and your little different coloured squares. Then we've got a standard black, um, just to, I think that will be his boots. And again, a little bit on the plaid. And what's that one then? That looks like that's a very dark, let me just see, is that a dark green? That's a very dark green colour. Ooh, yeah, I thought it was black, but actually no, that is green. I've had a bit closer inspection. Oh, look at those. So we've got, the rounds with like a star stamped into them and then they have the iridescent coating they have the iridescent coating on them as well wow we've got some large teardrops there in green and we've got oh a little pearls escaped there look she's wanting to go into the teardrop party there 
and then oh look at those we've got some teardrops with like a tealy green iridescent coating on and look at these we've got hot pink iridescent coated teardrops they are marvelous so i believe that they are going to be the three different colors for all the lights yeah so they're really gonna sparkle and so we've got the green and we've got the tealy blue and the hot pink yes i'm just wondering if you've got the uh, little lights you know the really little tiny like pinhead lights and just maybe push them through i think if you just put them on the back actually and switch them on it would still glow it would certainly make these sparkle these two colors particularly with the iridescent coating um or even as i say just putting it around mm. I suppose you could poke through and actually put the lights through, but that might spoil your painting. You might not want it lit up the next year. We might have a bit of fun with this one once we've completed it and uh, putting it in the frame because I think it's screaming out to just have some little tiny lights on it just to see those colours and those super as well. So they're going to be like your stars. So yeah, they're not snowflakes. They are actually stars shining in the background with their little stars stamped onto them with the iridescent coating. Okay, lots of fun this one. And this one is $6.43. So, yeah, it says it's a 30 by 40. I would think it's a um, 25 by 35. So, yeah, I won't measure them because I think we're fairly uh, standard on the sizes. If you don't want me to measure, let me know in the comments. Okay, right. Let's have a look at the next one. And then finally, so this one, uh, there's quite a few of these coming out. There's quite a few in the sets. Yeah, you can get more than one and uh, just do like a little display of them if you like. But, oh, look at him. Um, I've actually seen this as an ornament um, and they are very, very pretty. And the little train goes round on the ornament and uh, you can get them where it actually like snows onto the village as well. So this is like the next best thing. Um, I don't have a lot of space for putting things out at Christmas. I've got quite a bit of wall space and I don't use every inch of it nearly. <laughs> but I don't have many surfaces where I can actually stand things. So rather than having it as an ornament, I've now got it as a picture. And again, it's a special drill, so none of the background um, has any drills on it. It is just literally the bits that you can see. His tummy um, is just plain as well. It's just the picture, so there's no um, gems on there. Albeit, I think these roofs are possibly crying out for a little bit of glitter glue just to uh, make the roofs um, sparkle, just if you do like glitter, obviously. I know some people are very keen on glitter, but uh, yeah, you could just put a little bit of glitter on the roofs just to make that sparkle a little bit as well we've got a plaque down at the bottom here too you could put uh, maybe 2023 in there in gems or you could write it on even um, or you could just put a little border over it there's not many gems to play with really to do a lot of names um, i could probably get liz on there quite easily uh, in gems probably just put black plain gems or even bright red gems or something uh, but yeah if you've got a longer name you want but i think you could probably get 2023 on there um yeah just have a play about so i do like to look at things and think what else i can do with them rather than them just being a diamond painting but to be honest this one is crying out to me to be cut out so I think this is going to be another one. Although I say I've not got the uh, actual ornament, I could diamond paint this and actually then cut around the shape because it's a very sort of standard shape. This might be a little bit tricky. I would probably just leave those bits uh, landlocked in the middle there, not try and cut those out. But uh, once it's sealed um, and then cut it out and you could either put it on a magnet or something or a bit of mount board, and then it just uh, makes it stand out a little bit more. You could put it onto a different background. Actually, I'm just thinking it would probably, rather than taking up room on um, my fireplace, I could actually have it sort of like stuck on the back wall of the fireplace. So it looks like an ornament stood on the fireplace, um, but it's flat, so it's not taking up any space in front of it. There's an idea, right. So this is another one then, once I've got it done, uh, I think we'll be having a bit of a play about with this one to see what we can do with it. 
Hmm. Okay, it says it's a 30 by 30. And I think we'll find that the actual canvas size, yeah, is a 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. Uh, the actual, let's see how big he actually is. So he's about 22-ish centimetres, which is eight and a half inches by ooh, 24 centimetres, nine and a half-ish inches. I'm just thinking he may, if you've got um, a card, you could actually use him as a card topper if you cut him out and put him onto a Christmas card and that would be quite nice as well because putting something like this that you've sort of handmade yourself, you've decorated yourself, you've done your diamond painting uh, and made a card, it's something that could come out year after year for somebody uh, as a, like a decoration as well. So yeah, lots of different ideas, lots of different things you can do with this one. Uh, there's five different, sorry, there's six different gems and colours. Uh, can you tell I've not got my glasses on? I couldn't read that then. Can't tell the difference between five and six without my glasses. Uh, we've got pen, butt and wax. Enough to do you get. And let's have a look at these specials. Okay, quite a limited colour palette because obviously it's all white and snowy fine. Okay, so again we are starting off with the lovely clear plain crystals there oh we've got a lovely bright orange there i think that will be for his carroty nose just that little bit there so we've plenty of gems to do that with we've got a little bit of like a bronzy brown color we've got a very dark gray and then we've got they're like uh, little pearls yeah they're little pearls there's no facets on those and then we've got some marquees in silver. So, yeah, quite, uh, other than the orange, which will make it pop, quite a muted colour palette. But then he is a snowman. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, you could always do his hat and his scarf in different colours if you've got spare gems. But I quite like him as he is, as I say, sort of true to uh, the ornament, similar to the ornament that there was. So, yeah, very nice. Looks like uh, all these marquees are all going to go on his hat there and his sleeves. So you'll just get that different light effect on him. Very nice. Okay. So we have had our lovely, as I say, I'm sure that's an amaryllis. I'm going to say amaryllis rather than poinsettia. So you can have that one out at any time of year, not just at Christmas, albeit they do tend to sell as Christmas presents because they do tend to flower at Christmas as well. <laughs> if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. And then we've got this. This is my favourite one. This is absolutely just so funny and so cute. And uh, yeah, that's going to really make me laugh when that one's on the wall. Um, I'll probably put him near my kitchen door so as I go into the kitchen, I can have a bit of a chuckle at him uh, having a bit of a dance going into the kitchen. <laughs> and then our lovely little snowman as well. So it's been a bit of a Christmassy theme here, but any crafter knows you've got to get Elm early for Christmas. So huge thank you. Outdoor Tide for sending me these. I've thoroughly enjoyed looking at them and showing them on my channel. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at them with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. Don't forget to check out Outdoor Tide's website and those special offers. And I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.